Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. This is the last video um, in um, my prayer series, this particular prayer series. Um, I may do another series on prayer as I learn more and the Lord matures me more in um, this area um, of my life. Um, my husband and I are going to do part two of our prayer discussion. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I was saying my husband and I are going to do part two of our prayer discussion. And um, when we do that video, um, and it won't be posted until next Friday, um, I'm going to come back to this video and post the link in the description section of the video so if you want to check back in within a week's time and um actually next friday yeah and it um it should be posted by then god willing so um when i made this list the list for the prayer series um the very last um video i put was creative prayer journaling and that was intentional but that was um, the vision that God gave me was to just stick with, you know, basically like sharing um, and and teaching because I didn't teach through all of the videos, but I, sometimes I just shared. Um, but some some things I just taught, um, some things I I taught, but I didn't want, um, you know, like the artsy stuff to to get in the way of that particular part of. Um, you know my prayer series so um, although this is the last video um for this prayer series um i'm still going to be continuing on with this specific part right here um you know personally because um i'm going to be praying through the proverbs what i want to do is i'll use this illustrated bible and pray through the proverbs in here creatively um Ooh, I'll turn right to it. Creatively decorating these pages. Hold on one second. Make sure I'm in frame. Okay, yes. So, how I plan to do that is um, read the proverb, the entire chapter um, for the day. And um, then write a prayer based on a verse or some verses that stood out to me. And... Um, I thought to go ahead and model um, how I'm going to do that to demonstrate it. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and read the book of Proverbs chapter 1. And I also want to use a highlighter. Okay, I'm thinking about that. Okay, I'm going to use this. Okay, I can use a highlighter or a pen. In this case, I think I'm going to use a pen. Okay, um, and I don't know if I want to use that marker pen because I don't want it to bleed through. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read. Okay, and um, you know, let me just say this, you know, there's so many different ways to do um, prayer journaling and creative prayer journaling. Um, sometimes you can read the entire chapter and then um, write out a prayer afterwards. Or you can pray as you're reading it. Um, and that's what's on my heart to do. Um, if anything is too, how can I say, personal when I get to one part, I may just want to upload the video just you know, take that part, like edit that part out. Um, but I don't want to lay down any decoration first. I want to um, go ahead and read and pray through first. Proverbs chapter one, purpose and theme. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. For gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction and prudent behavior, doing what is right and just and fair. Um, that stood out to me. Um, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Now, um, I know I wanna stamp something here, so I'm gonna go. Um, um, giving prudence to those who are simple knowledge and discretion to the young let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance for understanding proverbs and parables the sayings and riddles of the wise so i'm gonna also put i act to listen and and add to my learning. Honey, I'm still recording, but if she wants to talk, as long as she's not screaming or whatever, it's fine. and it adds to my learning. Guidance. For understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. to embrace wisdom, warning against the invitation of sinful men. Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They are a garland to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck. My son, if sinful men entice you, do not give in to them. If they say, come along with us, let's lie and wait for innocent blood. Let's ambush some harmless soul. Let's swallow them alive like the grave and whole like those who go down to the pit. We will get all sorts of valuable things and fill our houses with plunder. Cast lots with us. We will all share the loot. My son, do not go along with them. Do not set foot on their paths. For their feet rush into evil. They are swift to shed blood. How useless to spread a net where every bird can see it. These men lie in wait for their own blood. They ambush only themselves. Such are the paths of all, all who go after ill-gotten gain. It takes away the life of those who get it. Um, I ask to not be enticed by 
evil men to avoid evil and practice godliness. Um, to gain honestly so it's just a reverse of um, not go after ill gotten gain wisdom's rebuke out in the open wisdom calls aloud she raises her voice in the public square on top of the wall she cries out at the city gate she makes her speech how long will you who are simple love your simple ways? Um, um, I'm going to also, uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and stay right here. How long will you? How long will you who are simple love your simple ways? How long will mockers delight in mockery? On fools hate knowledge. Repent at my rebuke. Then I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make known to you my teachings. For since you refuse to listen when I call, and no one pays attention when I stretch out my hand, since you disregard all my advice and do not accept my rebuke, I in turn will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock when calamity overtakes you, when calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster sweeps over you like a whirlwind, when distress and trouble overwhelm you. So I'm going to put here, um, I ask to always regard your wisdom. Then they will call to me, but I will not answer. They will look for me, but will not find me, since they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. So I'm going to put here, I ask to love knowledge. I ask to love knowledge. I choose to honor you. Since they would not accept my advice and spur my rebuke, I'm going to put help me to obey you. Take your advice. not despise chastening they will eat of the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their schemes for the waywardness of the simple will kill them and the complacency of fools will destroy them I'm going to put here um help me to follow you because I don't want to be wayward and avoid complacency complacency but whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm and I'm going to put here Thanks that you. Everything started to look uh, the same. At car groups, we give every car a deal rating for old car. Thanks that you help me 
to listen to you. Live in safety. I am at ease and live without fear of harm. And then I'm going to put amen because I already put in Jesus' name up there. So basically, the same way that it's like listed here, verse by verse, um, I like bullet it. So now, and like I said, just to show, you know, an example, here I go right here. Now I'll, I'll lay down some washi, right? Um. So I have this washi cutter thing here that I think I want to use. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's right here. Let's see if I could. It's like a, a washi chomper. I'm going to try that. Okay, so just a little different. <laughs> Okay, so here is this piece of washi that I just used that chomper on. And, um, okay, so one second, let me move it down some. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to move it over some. I'm not really liking the way that it is right there. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm liking that. Okay, I'm not really liking that. So what I'm going to do is... Touched that so many times. I'm not. I'm not feeling that. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop off another piece. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and chop off another piece. Lay this here. And do it like this. Okay. Tape. I think like a green or something like that, or even maybe this. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a green, like an off green color here. 
like this one right here. Well, no, I don't like that at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this right here. Um, and then, yeah, I wanna use this up here. Okay, so that's what I'll do. Hold on a second. And I'm not, I'm not going to like make a big to do of having it like a whole, like a lot, a lot of decoration, just a little something, right? Because it doesn't always have to be a whole lot. Okay. specific one cause um yeah I'm not gonna do the highlighting I'm not gonna do the highlighting I could always come back in the future and do something here too you know to, to get to that space so I'm not, I'm not too concerned um uh, yeah but no I'm not gonna do any highlighting so um, yeah so that's it so that's an example of, um, you know, what I'm going to be doing through praying through Proverbs. So with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.